Breaking now at noon, huge flames erupting from an auto body shop in the Cobbs Creek section of Philadelphia. A dangerous situation unfolding as the walls of the structure crumble down. Eyewitness News reporter Shantae Lands is live on that scene for us this noon. So, Shantae, what's the latest here? Well, I can tell you the fire commissioner just walked up on scene here. We're just going to take a listen to the latest on the investigation. Uh, fire units were dispatched today at 10.06 and arrived about four minutes later to uh, advance fire in the uh, auto garage that you see behind me. Uh, the fire went to three alarms, and we are still fighting the fire, clearly. Uh, we're probably still 30 to 40 minutes from putting this fire under control. There's been a lot of uh, structural collapses out into the street onto adjacent buildings. So we're being very cautious with this. Of course, our company's made an aggressive interior attack, as they do. Uh, quickly recognized the conditions were extremely dangerous, backed out, and uh, started to work on what we call a defensive fire attack, which is what you see behind me with all the master streams and other devices that we have going. Again, a three alarm fire brings about 51 apparatus vehicles, uh, different units, support equipment around 120 firefighters. Uh, all of our partners are here PGW, PICO, LI, Second Alarmers, Salvation Army, Red Cross, Red Paw, Office of Emergency Management, the Police Department. Uh, our arson task force is here as well. And again, that doesn't mean anything besides they always work very closely with the Police Department and the Fire Department. So that's a normal thing. And what it does mean, however, is their investigation has already started. Again, uh, that's what we do. We don't have any answers to that yet uh, because this is still an active firefight. So we'll be here for the Com rest of the afternoon. Commissioner, are there any vehicles in that, in that building? We don't know. We haven't gotten inside the building yet. Do you have any reason to believe there was anyone inside when this... That there was anybody inside? Any, yeah. uh, it's much too soon to tell that. As you can see, this is still an active firefight. We'll be here for... I mean, when, when, in terms of talking to the people there, did they indicate, yes, we're all out except for Charlie or whatever? As far as we understand right now, we, we don't believe there's anybody left inside. Everybody got out? As far as we know right now, there's nobody left inside. Commissioner, is this an auto body shop? Uh, it's an auto garage is what we understand. There was no actual fire extension to adjacent homes. But part of the wall did collapse onto an adjacent dwelling. Uh, there's also a wall of the building out into the street uh, all the way. I guess it's uh, Manning Street. So this, again, a lot of structural collapses here. Very dangerous operation. Incredible job by our firefighters staying out of the collapse zones. Uh, still managing to make great progress on this fire. As you can see, uh, we've done a lot with the fire in terms of darkening it down. But again, there still is a lot of fuel in there and we're being very cautious with the exposures. Very large building, it's probably uh, 100 by 200 in areas. And again, just an amazing job. Uh, one of our engine companies, there are a lot of houses very close to this building. So as they do, again, a uh, very dense city. Uh, they put themselves uh, really in harm's way to protect those exposures in those adjacent residences, and so far it worked. There's a couple, there's a daycare that's been evacuated, the adjacent high school's been evacuated. We expect to bring all those people back uh, shortly once we put the fire under control and Ellen and I is here evaluating the homes and the uh, structural collapse to see what we need to do with that. What was the toughest part about fighting this fire today given the, the condition, circumstance of the building, etc.? Well, it's not over yet. So uh, again, fortunately so far we don't have any injuries. We're hoping to keep it that way. But again, we're going to be here for the rest of the afternoon. What's the risk for the people living around? All right, we're going to um, pull away from that for right now. Um, but I actually want to show you the building from uh, the ground view. We're at the chopper right now looking overhead, but I also at some point want to show you the ground view of the crews working the scene here as this uh, press conference happens right now. Uh, we actually spotted a owner, it looked like, of the shop um, uh, embracing family members. Uh, we saw fire crews knocking on doors of homes next to this building, uh, just checking on people. It's not clear if They've been evacuated, but we know that a nearby high school had to be uh, evacuated. I think we just lost Shantae's signal there, but that was Shantae Lance reporting from the fire scene. Mm -hmm. Fire